Hello, everybody. Welcome to the live stream. It is September 21st, 2017. How you doing this evening? I'm very excited for some Project Cars, too. <sighs> I think I lost sleep over it last night. But honestly, just like I, I knew it was just so close. And there's so much hype involved in the game. There's it's the reviews say that it's a simulator. It's more of a simulator than anything else. I am extremely uh, excited to try this out. Uh, I know a few members of uh, Code Zero are picking this game up as well. I don't know if they're going to pick up or if they're going to uh, join us later. Maybe they will. But regardless, we're here and we're going to play it. Very excited. Very, very excited. Zach Hardison. Hope this is better than the Porsche last night. I know, man. Forza 7, like, honestly, if Project Cars kicks Forza's ass, then I just, I probably won't even get Forza, honestly. Probably won't even get it. E. Douglas2233 watching from Maine. Very cool, dude. Well, hello up there in Maine. Look at that. Firefighter2239. Nine months in a row. Thanks for that, brother. Evil Sniper, what's up, man? 43 my B seems legit. Seems legit. Super Duper 2. Subscribe for three months in a row. Thank you for that, sir. Appreciate that. Welcome to the live stream. Of course, we're going to have a wheel cam here. Shaboom, boom, 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 boom. Now, I haven't touched anything. Uh, we're running 900 degrees of uh, rotation, uh, and we are so on and so forth. You know, 900 degrees of rotation, and check this out. This this is when you know that you're going to be in good hands. That's all state stand. Um, if I go into the options menu here, and we go to the controls, check this out. Uh, not that guy. That's gameplay. Uh, but controls. You got a G27 on the wheel. Or, uh, on the wheel. <laughs> you got a G27 on the screen. That That's a good sign. That means that maybe it's going to be okay. Just maybe it's going to be okay. Wheel, Logitech G27, pedal type separate. Yes, yes, yes. I don't have to calibrate anything. I'm not going to touch anything. Gearing manual. Automatic clutch is going to be turned off. I want to have a, a clutch myself. Inverted gearing, no. So I'm pretty happy with that. Configuration-wise, steering dead zone. Look at this. This game knows what it's doing. Zero. Zero. That's what we want. Sensitivity's right in the middle. I haven't touched anything. Throttle dead zone's at seven. Eh, I don't know about that. Uh, brake zone, they, they keep it all at seven, so I'm, I'm kind of fine with that, I guess. Uh, the dampening and everything. Everything looks like... Okay, so this game uses damping, so we're going to see if that uh, does anything. You can edit the assignments. Uh, of motion, of the vehicle, of assistance. Um, I don't know how you go through the different ones. Is it why? Nope, nope, nope. They don't really tell you how to do that. Uh, okay, configuration, edit assignments. Uh, maybe you go all the way down and it goes to the next one. No, it doesn't. And I can't go left or right. I'm not really sure how you go to the next one. Very strange. Um, and then force feedback options. Flavor, informative, immersive, or raw. And I've been told... Uh, that a lot of guys that do sim racing put it on raw, so we're going to do that ourselves. Inside Man 40, thank you for that subscription, man. Three months in a row. Thanks, dude. Very, very kind of you, sir. Very, very, very kind of you. Um, yeah, we on the wheel seems legit, Douglas. I know. I don't know what I was saying there. Uh, everything else looks pretty good here. I love how there's a tone and FX and everything else. Uh, menu spring strength. You can change the spring strength of strings. The spring strength. God, say that five times fast. Um, of the wheel in the menu, like, uh, this is looking pretty good. Performance wise, let's have a look and see what we are rolling with. Running in windowed mode because I'm, li I'm live streaming it, so I want to make sure that I can see everything. Uh, texture resolution is on high, filtering is on, everything's on whatever it, it popped on by default. V-Sync, yes. MSAA is on medium. Um, I'm going to keep everything on default and then we can adjust as we need to. Uh, let's see here and go from there. Visual effects, post-processing is on, exterior sun flare, full, subtle, blah, 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 blah. Vignette, yes, why not? No, I don't want to exit to the, I want to go to gameplay. So we've got career mode we can do, quick play, uh, community, this is where we're going to go into esports and all stuff if you want to. Is I can go browse online races and we will try some online racing as well. Um, Private testing, but we're going to do custom race. Now, this is a brand new UI. This is totally different. Uh, you got rules and regulations where you can, you can do everything rules here. Rules and regulations is where you configure the leniency of penalties for the event and which penalties you wish to have enabled or disabled. 
straightforward and uh, they have a nice little narration that tells you each menu that I haven't discovered yet, which is pretty cool. Rails and penalties are on, track limit penalties are on, so on and so forth. I like it. Uh, you got opponent settings here. Opponent settings is where you decide the opponent's skill level, as well as the size of the grid, the car classes the opponents will be racing in, and if you're not including a qualifying session, in what position you'll start the race. That's pretty cool. So you can say that you want to start in a certain spot. See player grid position. You can play player last, random. You, you can literally tell it where you want it to go. I say we do middle. We'll, we'll act like we did okay. Skill level for the opponents. I'm going to keep them. A lot of people have been running them around 70. So I'm going to put them on se or 75, I mean. We'll do 75. Opponent aggression. We're going to keep them, we're going to keep them down here. I don't want them too aggressive and crazy. Uh, opponent field type. This is something new in Project Cars. Now you can do multi-class racing. On top of multi-class racing, we can now do endurance racing. You can do a 24 hours of Lamont if you wanted to, and you get multi-classes, and that's absolutely awesome. I don't know if you want to sit there for 24 hours. I don't really want to right now. We're going to do the same class. I'm not going to use the same cars. I'm um, happy with all of that. We'll save that and check it out. Here's the new vehicle select screen. This is cool. You go to all and then you can go through all the different cars or you can just browse by manufacturer. I, I, I do like that because last time I had to go down the whole list in Project Cars 1 and try to figure it all out. This time it's a little bit different. Check this out. We're going to be trying this for sure. The Chevy Camaro Z28. Now, once you have a car selected, now you can hit the X button on the G27, it's this little left black button here, and we can go into livery uh, selection from here. Uh, so you've got like all these different liveries you can choose from, which is really cool. Oh, nice. GeForce Game Ready Driver is available for Project Cars. That's cool. But before, it was kind of a pain in the butt to get to these different liveries, and this is a lot more intuitive. Let's go to the Camaro. Oh, I want to be the Camaro, but I want to change the uh, I'm change the livery. Look at all these different liveries you can do. And and then they have a thing called custom livery. I don't know what that means. Maybe you could import one or make one yourself. But I like the pure white car. That looks actually pretty badass. Uh actually no. Let's let's do something different. Let's do this black 75. That'll work for me. All right, I'm happy with that car selection. Now you can go to the track selection screen and let's check Here's this where you out. Choose which track you want to drive. Tracks can be viewed either by location, with each layout for the selected track displayed separately, or alphabetically, with all track layouts displayed in a single list. I like that. You can change between the uh, the way that uh, it pops up, but I don't know how to change between those little mini menus yet. I haven't figured that out yet. Uh, so let's start at the top. Alphabetically, we've got all these tracks. Got Algarve, whatever that is. Never seen Autodromo International El Do Algarve. It's in Portugal, Spain, so... Uh, the Acer Circuit, we've got Acer Coast, got uh, the Bunnich Brow, whatever the hell that is. I don't know how to even pronounce that. Oh, look at that. Barcelona and Catalonia. Very nice. Bathurst, got Brands Hatch, uh, Brno, that's in the Czech Republic. You got Cadwell Park, California Highway Returns, Point to Point Racing, Circuit of the Americas. Coda's in here. This makes me extremely, extremely happy. I love this track. Uh, Daytona International Speedway, and check it out. You can do the uh, the trioval, you can do the road course, or you could do the rally cross course itself. Because yes, rally is in this game. I've heard nothing but good things about it. Uh, you got the Dirt Fish Pro Rally Course uh, in three different variations of that. Uh, you got Donington Park. Look at all the different configurations too. I mean, pretty awesome. Dubai Autodrome. You've got uh, Fuji. You've got Hell RX, which is a rally cross. Remember Hell? That was in uh, Dirt Rally and Dirt 4 and stuff. Uh, Hockenheim Classic. We've got Hockenheim Ring. And look at the different variations of that one. Very cool. Uh, Emola. You've got Indiana, uh, Indianapolis Motor Speedway. Now you've got the full oval or you have the road course in the inside there that like MotoGP uses in the other series. Knock Hill. International Racing Circuit. You've got Laguna Seca. Good old Mazda Raceway makes itself back into the game. Uh, circuit de, uh, 24 Hours de Ma. Le Ma Circuit. Yes. Yes, yes. We could do the Bugatti Circuit. That's pretty sweet. Uh, Lohiek. I don't know how you say that one. Uh, it looks like a rally course. And it is Long Beach of uh, LA. That looks awesome. Uh, Lydon Hill. 
Rally Cross, of course. I'm I know these courses. That's what's gonna be really cool. Uh, Mercedes Benz Ice Track. This is something new. Uh, they have the actual ice circuits that Mercedes Benz has. You know, you see them in their Mercedes Benz uh, commercials and stuff. Pretty awesome. Mojave Desert. You got the Ascent. You got the Sidewinder and the Coyote Noose. Pretty awesome stuff. You got Monza. Good old Monster. Uh, and you have the Autodromo National Monza Short. So you've got the one that has a huge turns in it. That is pretty cool. Monza Classic. Oh, there it is. They have the actual oval. The historic Monza oval. So you have pretty much every variation of Monza you can ima you imagine. Nurburgring Green is back and check it out. You have the GP circuit, the Nordschleife, and you have the combined, which is Nordschleife and the GP circuit combined. Uh, Asher Schleben, don't know. Asher Schleben, a course. These look like rally courses, honestly. Maybe, maybe not. Uh, Alton Park, that is back. Alton Park, uh, Red Bull Ring. You've got the GP circuit, the National, and the Club. We're just going through all the tracks here. Road America. Gotta love Road America. Uh, Rouen le Isas. Whatever that means. It's France. It's French, so I don't know. Uh, Ropa, Rapuna, uh, New Zealand. So, Ripina Pa GP. I'm going to say that one. I don't know. Sakito. It's in Japan. You got some Pala Ice Circuit. So, another ice circuit. Silverstone. Silverstone Classic. Uh, Snetterden. You got Sonoma Raceway. And check it out. You got Short which is the one that NASCAR uses. You've got the GP circuit and the national circuit. All sorts of different configurations there. Spa is here, the full track of Spa. Uh, and there's the historical Spa. You've got uh, Sugo, Texas Motor Speedway, including uh, the road course and the infield course for rally. you got Watkins Glen International. Of course, you've got the short version that NASCAR uses or the GP circuit. Wildcrest Rally Cross. Willow Springs International Raceway. Really happy to see Willow Springs in this game. Uh, Zoihai uh, International Circuit. Zolder. And that is it. Zolder is actually a really cool circuit. So a lot of tracks to choose from. A lot of tracks. Let's, uh, let's start off with Road America. I know Road America and I really want to see it with the Chevy Camaro. Race settings, here we go. Race settings is where you configure all the options relating to the main race in your custom event. Everything from race length, the in-game date of the race, start time, time progression, weather settings, type of start, and mandatory pit stop. All of this is decided here. A lot of settings this year, and now we have those that dynamic uh, weather. On top of that, we have dynamic tracks. This new dynamic, like a 3.0, whatever they're calling it. Uh, it's dynamic tracks, meaning that the rubber lays down on the track. Uh, the, the If it rains, puddles accrue, and they go away after it warms up. It, it's... It's insane what they have in here. Duration type, you can do laps, you can do a simple time duration. So if you wanted to bump that all the way up to 24 hours, you really could and do a 24 hour race if you wanted. Uh, date type is whatever date you want because you could put it on the actual date and it'll, they have seasons in this game. Isn't that crazy? <laughs> it really is. <clears throat> Let's go down here to the afternoon. Time progression, I'm going to turn that on uh, two times so we can see. Uh, the sun moved. Let's, yeah, I'll just, yeah, we'll do five times. Actually, I want to see the sun move through the sky. Uh, seasons. Here we are. Spring, summer, autumn, winter. You can actually drive any course in the snow. It's insane. Weather slots. You can have multiple weather slots. So you can have these different weather forecasts. Uh, and you can have the weather progression do sync to race or real time or two times. So on and so forth. Really cool stuff. Weather forecasts. Is where we can go, hey, in the beginning, we want it to be sunny. This, we want some clouds to roll in. Uh, and then we're going to finish it off with some light rain. How about that? Real time. Let's do uh, same thing as time progression up there. Five times. Start type. We need to standing. We're going to rolling start. Formation lap. You can do yes. Mandatory pit stop. Uh, you can do yes or no on that. Uh, on this one, let's just do standing. I think that'll work pretty good there. Uh, pretty happy with all of this. Let's go to save that. And session settings. Here you go. Session settings is where you can either enable or disable the practice and or qualifying session for your custom event. I know, Ben, 8509. You can configure the duration, in-game start time, time progression, and weather settings of both practice and... Okay. Uh, yeah, imagine Sonoma in the snow. That that would be absolutely crazy. We're going to turn practice on so we can get used to this thing. Uh, that looks good there. Qualifying, why not? That looks good. We're going to save it. 
and let's go down to the start. Let's go do it. Let's see how everything works out of the box. That is the biggest thing to me. These, these games, whenever you get them, you want everything to work out of the box. I have a G27, a Logitech G27. It's plugged in. You know, it's 900 degrees of rotation and the other settings I have in my profiler that I always do. Uh, outside of that, I want the game to just accept it and just the driving be okay. With Forza last night when we were playing Forza 7, it was totally different. It was just, it was not good. I really it's love the time. graphics and everything, but... around the pre-race menu, you'll see a list listen of all to the participants. that, Camaro. Also be able to Ooh, view a that feels interesting. Map of the track by selecting the map icon. Cool. Practice is about getting to know your car and getting to know the track. Ultimately, it's about exploring the limits of both you and your car. Once you're comfortable with both, use the session to make adjustments to the car's setup and consider creating a pit strategy ready for the race. All you can also right. try turning the assists, such as traction and stability control, off and on and feel how they change your car's behavior. Absolutely. The pit box main menu is where you prepare for the upcoming session. Take the time to edit your car setup, pit strategy, watch other Pretty cool stuff. Um, yeah, so with tuning setups, you can now uh, go to your race engineer and say, hey, man, uh, downforce wise, I'm slow on the straights. And they'll go, hey, this is what you need to do to change that. And you can even have them do it for you. That changes everything in the racing game. Like to have your own crew chief uh, is, is unbelievable. Let's go drive. Road America, baby. This looks like the old Road America, doesn't it? We're under AI control right now. Getting ready to go here. Steady on the outlap. Warm the tires up before you start pushing hard. Oh. <laughs> Force feedback is perfect, man. This is the new Road America. It's not old. Listen to this sound. <laughs> wow, that force feedback is beautiful. That feels good. You can really save the car. They were talking about that. They were talking about how they uh, actually had a lot of different drivers input in this game. And it shows. Carousel here. And it feels like you could really push the car. Like, look at that. It feels so good. I don't feel like I'm out of control. It feels like I have grip there. It's beautiful. <laughs> I made a crucial mistake there. God, that sounds good. Let's go to these different views here. Um, trying to figure out how to do it. Probably one of these buttons here. Let's look left or right. That's resume session. Uh, buttons here. Nope. That's... Oh, look at the telemetry data you can have. Oh, you can do all sorts of pitch strategy stuff here. There's my views. Okay, can we close this, this menu? Oop, wrong button. There we go. Listen to that.
That's pretty, pretty good. All right, let's get, let's get a hard lap going here. Now that the tires are warmed up. <laughs> you can really save that car. So does Project Cars 2 live up to the hype? So far. Oh, that backfire. Yeah, I was noticing that too. You can hear the carburetor. Okay, well, Woo. I'm trying to get used to the buttons here. There we go. Uh, we can view a replay at any time. That is so good. Can we go to the very beginning? Yep, we can. Uh, you can do track side, all broadcast overlays. Wow. Trying to figure out how to put away the thing. Now oh, you go into photo you mode. A wide variety of camera controls and functionality, Jesus. which will empower you to produce high-quality photos from near enough any angle. Very cool stuff. Trying to find out how to hide the inner the view here. There it is. Why? Look at this. That is fucking beautiful. The replay cameras are incredible. That's where I missed the shift. <laughs> I missed the shift again there. You can see that. Oh, that's where we hit the wall right there.
Okay, that's that's pretty friggin' bitchin' if you ask me, guys. That's pretty awesome stuff. All right, let's go back. I'm trying to find out how we go. Okay, B. Uh, anybody who have any suggestions, any cars and track combo you want to see, be sure to let me know. I am pretty, pretty blown away by this. Um, is this track IR compatible? You know, I don't know. Um, but it's VR and that I cannot wait to do VR in this thing. It's going to be so, so, so cool. Uh, let me find out how to get all my, there's my telemetry data back here. Let's do a brake torque here. Sweet. Um, let's go to, uh, let's resume session. Nope. I want to go return to the pit box. Uh, we can go to the next one. And we actually do a race here. Determines your placement on the starting grid for the race. The faster the time you set in qualifying, the higher you'll be up on the grid. Let's skip to the end there. We'll exit here. There's so much in this game. There's so many tracks. There's so many cars. I just cannot believe it. You, everybody wants to see the new Corvette. Okay. Well, let's do it. You want to see the C7R? You want to see the Corvette Z06? You want to see the stock version? You want to see the GT version? Which one is better? NASCAR and Snow at Sonoma. <laughs> uh, C7. I see a lot of C7Rs. C7Rs. Yep. C7R it is. We'll go to livery selection screen here. I like this orange one right here. This looks pretty sweet. Oh, the yellow looks so nice. Let's do the yellow one. Let's do the yellow one. We'll select that thing and we're going to go. What? Everybody wants to see Indianapolis. Um, you want to do the, the, the road course probably. Yeah, let's do the road course and we'll hit start. It loads quite quickly. I'm very, very excited about that. I mean, the last Project Cars like took a while, and and I've heard a lot of good things about the performance of Project Cars too. Um, especially in VR, it makes a huge difference. So we'll see if that uh, does anything here. E Douglas, have a good one, man. If you're if you're out of here, thanks for stopping by, man. Let's drive this bad boy. Let's listen to it. <laughs> Look at that interior. Look at that interior. Okay, they've outdone themselves here. Is this a uh, a reverse course? I think it is. Remember to take it easy on these tires to get some heat in them. Hopefully it's too hard too early.
Got a helmet camera. thing. Okay, let's uh, let's watch some of that replay on that one. Sounds really nice. <laughs> this is where we spin it right here at the end of this straightaway. Crazy. <laughs> the camera's like, whoa, where'd you go there, bud? Pretty, pretty good stuff. Okay, somebody wants to see a stock car at Texas in the snow. If, if that's what you want to see, I agree. Let's do it. It's going to be under Ford. It's going to be the Ford Fusion. What we got here? We got pretty much all the ones that we had before. Let's do the Danica looking car. Ooh, the green, bright green three is such a good looking car, too. Oh, I like how they use the 18. That's pretty sweet. Uh, it's like the same uh, same font as Kyle Busch's car. Uh, any other ones I like? What was the one I always... Oh, that's the one I used in... Uh, let's use this one. This one I used in GTA. Uh, we'll use that one. We're going to go to Texas Motor Speedway. We're going to do the NASCAR circuit. We're going to go to race settings, and we're going to put the season to winter. And we're going to put the weather on. Well, we never saw the weather change because we weren't out there very long. Uh, let's see here. Weather forecast. Oh, slots. One. I'm just going to put it snowing. It's like icy. This heavy snow. And that looks good. Time progression. Yep. Good enough there. I think that'll be fine. 
Okay, save that. Session settings. Uh, no, that's not the one. I think that was it. Just that one. Basically making it a blizzard. That's what we're doing. Uh, snow, snow, snow. All right, I, th I think that that's I think that that that's it. Let's go see what this is what this is like. Texas in the snow. <laughs> oh my god. Our tires are not going to stick very well. Fry cook, that's absolutely true. I'm expect expecting that though. Because it's winter. Snow in Texas very legit. Oh yeah, realism's going out the window on this one. Oh, there's no snow on the ground. Uh, we did something wrong. Hold on. We did something wrong. Race settings. Weather progression's off. I mean, it, it's all the same. Here we go. Oh, we already did that. Oh, I got you. So it's light clouds for that session. That's for the race, I guess. Okay, so practice weather forecast. We want that to be snowing. Uh, we'll put it on blizzard. Save. Qualifying. We want that to be a blizzard. Save. There we go. And now we want to go to our weather forecast and make it a blizzard. And save. Yep, that's the one we want. And start. Maybe that'll change it. We'll see if it does anything there. A sweet Texas blizzard. Try poking out in the rain. <sighs> this is going to be ridiculous. Practice blizzard, qualifying, Claire's day, race blizzard times 100. Yep, check it out. <laughs> well, I don't see any snow accumulating yet, so we'll see what this is like. say so. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Found the wall immediately. Try that again. Good lord, that was crazy. Go, go, go. But we'll see if it accumulates. It's supposed to accumulate. And I know there's options for... The view here. Let's try the camera views here. We got the cockpit camera. You can change the FOV. You can change the movement of it too. High speed shake off world movement. Blah, blah, blah. Helmet depth of field. You can change helmet look to apex by automatically checking for it. That's pretty sweet. That's pretty sweet. Um, okay. And I think that is about that. Steering assistance, no, 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 no. Auto uh, start, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, all sorts of fun stuff there too, but let's resume. All right, we've got some snow fall on the circuit. Just take it real steady. On 
wouldn't say pit lines are the release of our worries right now. Okay, had a huge moment there. Saved it. I don't know how we saved it, but we did. I can't see which way is straight in this blizzard. <laughs> you see that car go whizzing by? piece of shit. This is ridiculous. Okay, well that was definitely interesting. That that was pretty much what I thought it would be. Uh, it's ridiculous. So yeah, you can be as ridiculous as you want. That's when we hit the wall right there. <laughs> okay, well, that was ridiculous. I don't know how you get the accumulation of snow, but we're going to take this on the ice course because, you know, why not? We got to try that. Let's see. Mercedes-Benz ice course. Yeah, we'll do that. That looks good. We're gonna change these these time these this weather. We're gonna change that to uh we'll make it a nice day on the ice. That way it's not insane, you know. So those the defaults. There we go. Let's try this. Searches for Jeff on replay, but can't seem to find him. <laughs> exactly. I mean, the cameraman's like, why am I here? That was amazing. Oh, it's temps too high for snow to stick. There's a way to do it. I don't really know. Let's see what this is like. <laughs> there we go. That's pretty much as accurate as I, that's what I thought it would be. We'll restart that. We have to take it a little easier than that. Oh shit, that's not gonna work. Let's try second gear on this one. <laughs> I 
There's <laughs> just it's not having it. <laughs> yeah, no. So, yeah, that that's this is what we saw. This is NASCAR trying to drive on ice. <laughs> it's so ridiculous. So ridiculous. The sounds are really well done though. You got to you got to give them to that. Okay, let's let's go, let's go back to actual driving and having fun. Let's drive something else. That was we, we wanted to see how ridiculous this was and it's it was exactly about as ridiculous as I thought it would be. Uh one thing I do want to drive is a really want to drive a V eight um uh at uh hold in, hold hold in. What where, where are they gonna be under? It's not under Holden, but I'm looking for the V eight supercar. We'll find it in a second here. Where would the V8 supercar be under? Because I want to drive that at Circuit of the Americas. Nissan. No, 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 no. I mean, maybe they have it under Chevy, but I really doubt it. It's not, yeah. Not under Ford either. Hmm, V8 supercar, where would you be? I'm not driving any more cars on um on the ice. Not gonna have oh yeah, we have the Falcon V8 supercar. Forgot about that one. We can do that one. Let's do a nice ooh, that looks cool. We'll do that one. I like that. We're gonna do Circuit of the Americas. Yes. No more blizzard. No more of this. No more. Make it nice. Weather slots. I do want it to be... I do want to see it transition to uh, rain. So I really want to do that. Let's see. I want to see what the rain effects are like. I'll let a storm blow in. There we go. We'll do uh, time progression 20 times. Why not? And 15, that'll work. Uh, sink to race. There we go. 20 times on that. Standing. That works for me. Good enough. Okay. Well, now let's do a rolling start. Rolling start. Yep. That'll do right there. Let's go right into the race. Yeah, transitions in iRacing would be cool, but you know what, man? iRacing is just so far behind the times, it's ridiculous. The rules and regulations are so old and outdated. Simple things like that.
Oh yeah, we're on a formation lap? Okay. <laughs> Reduce speed. Formation lap. This thing sounds great. I love the sound of that transmission. Get used to the track. That's fine. Oh, what I don't understand is why do we not have any opponents? Let's let's make sure we have opponents here. Something got reset to default, and we don't have any opponents now. But man, the, the load times are so fast. I did not expect that at all. Opponent number all the way up. That works. Same class. Yep, save that. Let's go back to it again. We're expecting rain in the forecast. Should be fun. I don't know how many laps there is. Uh, I didn't look. What did I set it at? Termo, I agree. I, I think that they will. I really do. I think they'll add some Holdens. I would love to drive the Commodore. That would be too cool. They got a good uh, deal with Ford, though. Uh, Project Cars 2 does, it seems. Okay, start. Formation lap. Here we go. God, this is, game is amazing. I love it. You, you see them actually clean their tires off too. Oh, there's certain spots that don't have a speed limit. I see. This is just so beautiful, this game is. I cannot get over it. <laughs> okay, well, you can. You can lose control of these. Oh, come on, dude. I'm trying to get back on the track. Jackasses. Okay, this thing is crazy. Take it easy for a few laps, let them cool down, and then you can start 
car kind yeah, of Yeah, you don't say, you don't say. We're learning here. First time driving a V8 supercar. They, they're surprisingly similar to a stock car. We'll get better. I, I'm just getting used to it. Damn, man. That thing is not screwing around. really slow down on these things. Here comes the rain. So far, quite impressed. Look at that rainstorm, that thunderstorm. That looks so good. See the water pools, the water forming on the edges. Oh yeah, that's that's like the biggest thing getting used to the V8 supercar is driving on the right side of the car. It's a little bit new for me. This is pretty good.
Okay, that was that was pretty awesome. <laughs> that was really cool. things are hard to drive. <laughs> I think that does us for that car. My God, that is tough. That's going to take a lot of practice. I am very surprised at just how crazy these, these things are to drive. They're a lot of fun though. I'm not going to lie. Look at that rain though. That looks so good. That's when I overdrove it right there. That's where I made the contact with that car. Spun it again. Got hit again almost. But look at that AI actually hit the brakes there. It didn't plow into us. And this is where I hit a puddle of water. Right there. Where the water shot up too. Bam. <laughs> The crashes are quite realistic. I'm very, very excited about that. Yes, the V8 supercars do run at, uh, at Circus, Circuit of the Americas, indeed. Okay, let's let's go try something else. Let's try the Indy cars out. I've heard good things about the Indy cars. Let's do Indy car at Indianapolis on the Oval and see what that's like. The Honda. Higher 12 road or the oval the oval. Uh, we can change the actual livery here. Oh, they have the re they have real sponsors on these. That's really cool. Steak and shake Honda, Honda, ABC, Napa auto parts. Got to do DHL. Come on now. Come on now. Got to do the DHL. I'm going to do Indianapolis. E F G H I. Yep. That looks good to me. Not going to be any rain. Uh, let's get rid of that rain. Back to sunny. There we go. And we'll save that. And we'll start it. This ought to be interesting. Driving an Indy car at Indianapolis Motor Speedway. Should be a lot of fun. I've heard good things about the, the Indy car. I got to say so far, guys, like my impressions of this are it's, it, it's living up to the hype. It really is. It, it feels so different than project cars. One Start it up. Here we go. Look at this bad boy.
They just really hit the brakes there. Wow, this thing is a beast. They really slow down on these straightaways, though. I got uses that your last name on the top left says FAV for Fabiano. That's pretty sweet. Can't wait to go green on this thing, man. Prepare for a race start. I think we can actually hear the tire marbles. You're ready to go green. <laughs> Sorry about it. Never driven one of these before. Sorry. The reason why I don't have damage on yet. Just making sure that it had five years. Oh, horrible crash. Horrible crash! Okay, that does it for us on on that. Uh, let's go to see that replay of that wreck. I had grass on my tire still. Horrific. Hit again, hit again there. They crash. Cars everywhere. Try to get going again and we spun it again after that.
Oh, I didn't realize I hit him. the end of this straightaway run out of talent and we get the big crash yeah we need to test the damage i haven't turned that on i thought it was on by default but i guess it's not bam <laughs> oh my god that was horrific wow that is uh that's pretty interesting man that it's pretty awesome. That is pretty, pretty awesome. I need a lot of practice with those. I need a lot of practice with this game in general. Uh, rules and regulations. Where's our options here for damage? Nothing to do with that. Maybe it's under options. Here we go. Damage is, yeah. Full damage. There we go. You can even have mechanical failures if you would like. Authentic tire wear, real fuel usage. I'm fine with that. There we go. All right, sweet. Uh, back. Nope, nope, nope. Back to gameplay. Quick play. Let's try. Let's go to uh, Texas Motor Speedway with this thing. And if we get in a huge crash, it's we're going to see the damage. That's for sure, you know? I mean, let's be honest. One more time with the IndyCar. The IndyCar is actually a lot of fun to drive. I did not think I would drive it that much. I was like, ah, it's an IndyCar. I've never been in, into IndyCar that much. But man, that uh, that's a lot of fun to drive. It's pretty crazy. I'm not going to lie. But we'll see what the, uh, the damage is like here because I can guarantee you I'm going to die. What did you miss, Tavares? Well, Ben8509 just said it. NASCAR in Texas in the snow. Yep, we did do that. Not, a f not particularly proud of it, but we did. Texas Motor Speedway. Clean them off, get ready to go racing. Let's watch that fail, shall we? We'll watch this fail together. <laughs> oh, we can't even see the damage from there. Oh, man. Come on now. Back it up. Come on. We need a better camera here. We get a uh, track side. Rotating views. Let's watch the chase view of this one. Oh shit, lost the whole thing. Wow. Okay, well, restart that session. Won't restart in first gear. We learned our lesson there. That was amazing. That was like that was the most rookie thing you could ever do. Just fucking. <laughs> oh my god. Just nail the gas and just go. Spam. 
Yeah, we, we look like we need we need to be uh, in an Indy car, don't we? Uh, you're right, still missing a wheel. That's that's kind of a problem. Can't really drive that way, can we? We have to restart the whole session. That's what it is. Okay. Nope. Okay. Can we restart the session? Can we move it to fix it? Uh, pitch strategy, no. Maybe we maybe you with realistic damage you lose it in that whole session. I I don't know. Never seen anything like that in my life. I'm not gonna do that again. I learned my lesson. Don't slam the great gas first gear. Oh man. That was very, very interesting. I, I cannot believe I did that. And while I was, you know, out there driving around, I was like, you know what? It's like, I, I'm, I need to be careful here because I think first gear is a doozy. Turns out, yes. Yes, it is. So we restart in second gear here. Now we know. But you know, you have to do dumb shit like that to learn. Damn, those guys nearly wrecked into each other. What are they doing? Oh, I know, Husky. That'd be amazing, man. NHRA drag races. I need to do something about that. I agree. Project Cars. Drag racing's fun, man. Especially online. That'd be awesome. All right. Let's actually try this time. Alive here. I do, I do not know how to run Texas in an Indy car. Like these guys are just holding the gas down the whole time. They are. Wow. Okay. That's your best first sector so far. Keep it going. Hey, we're figuring it out. We saved it. Start it. I can't get it to start. It's dead. There it goes. We just got it refired. Nope. Parts of cars. I just did. Have no steering. Something broke. No steering.
Yeah, it's destroyed. Well, let's try to get in an accident here. Let's see what the crash physics are like. Nope. Hit that one. The suspension's been damaged. That's what it is. Yeah, I would say so. I can't control the car at all. gone you just lost the wheel all right well that does it for that one doesn't it yeah it does oh it was completely screwed up that left front tire Oh, there went the wing. The rear wing there. Here's where the crash happened. Boom! There went the wheel in over the catch fence. <laughs> Holy crap, dude. And we were done. Just done. All right, let's actually go to a place that I can actually drive and drive cars that I actually know how to drive. Let's go to exit. I said we take a BMW GT car out on the Nordschleife. What do you say? BMW. A lot of BMWs to choose from here. M6 to the G Z4. Let's do the M6 GT. And I want to do this in the evening time. I think that'll be cool. Uh, let's see whether we'll do summer session start time 17. Let's do 1800. Yeah, it looks cool. And then let's have it move into some light rain showers at the end of the session. There we go. Save there. Uh, opponents. I want them to be... Let's do a multi-class on this one. Got... Yep, got uh, GTE. Let's do uh, GT3. Oops. Wait, what? Hmm, okay. Can, how do you change them? Oh, you have to hit the, the, the X button to select other ones. Okay. Three, four, fives. There we go. Oh, this is weird. Three, four, five. We go down. How do we get the save? There it goes. You yeah, hit, hit A on it, apparently. That's interesting. Okay, we'll hit save there. Session. Uh, I want formation lap to be off. If I could figure that out, that'd be great. No, there we go. Save, and it's going to be basically a track day, so let's do it. Well, not track day, but... Multi-class GT racing here at the Nordschleife. Whew, that'll be fun. Do I hear everyone in chat chanting winter? I don't think so. We, we did winter earlier. Um, I mean, I don't I, I need a lot more practice with this game to, to even try to drive on no, no grip at all. After we do uh, the Nordschleife, I do want to check out the Rallycross because they have Rallycross car cars in here and stages so i really want to see what those are all like all about our top story i three dead and 20 injured after ryan hunter ray's tire flew into the stands after a crash in texas texas motor speedway more details to come as the story unfolds
Thank you, MTOS. Let's do it. Here we go. Faster cars, those other classes, those other GT supercars. This is phenomenal. I love it. Look at that car. Wow, that Ford. Got in the grass. Oh, I, I was looking at my river mirror trying to let that guy go by. This is crazy. <laughs> Go the helmet camera.
He looks he looks into those apexes automatically. That's pretty sweet. YouTube corner right here. Here's YouTube Corner. Scratch glass. We're expecting some light drizzle any minute now, but we'll keep you posted. I'm hearing like a weird uh, audio thing happening. Well, okay, buddy, I'm right here. Whenever it's at lower RPMs like that. It's a McLaren behind us. do something here options i'm gonna turn this game volume down a little bit more it's uh it's very loud in my ears i know i have it turned down for you guys so it's not as loud but man it's freaking loud on my end and i'm going deaf here we go resume much better Lights just came on. There's the McLaren right there. I'm not sure if that sound that we're hearing is, is supposed to be tire chatter. It might be. Comes the rain. Sunset looks incredible.
almost forgot about that corner. <laughs> <laughs> They're not for position. Uh, one of them was. Maybe not. It's really starting to pick up rain wise. I did the same thing I did last lap. Forgot about that corner. Just when you think you have the Norge life of memorized, that happens. that shit I deserve that mess up right there I deserve it into the wall almost come on guys fire it up good luck getting this thing out of the ditch in the rain Yeah, there's something going on with the audio on this car. It's very weird. Did we damage something earlier? I think we did. Oh yeah, I have no steering now. That, that pretty much put a fork in us, didn't it? Yes, it did. Whew. Let's watch. Once they smacked that wall, it was over, man. It was all over at that point. Right there, that, that did it. Such a good looking car. The backfire. That's where I screwed up right here. I was like, oh, that's not enough. And I saved it right there, but I wrecked it the next time. This is where I couldn't get it out. It kept dying. <laughs> I love how these cars stopped for me. That was nice of them. Oh, it's a Mustang. Two Mustangs. That's where I had no more steering, sadly.
And we just spun it right here. And that's all she took. That's all it was. Well, let's try out the rally cars and see what that's all about. Excited to try it. Do, 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 do. I keep seeing aggressive cars around. I don't understand what that means, man. Sorry. Did not know. Okay. Ford has the Focus RS. Look at this F-150. We're going to have to definitely drive that. Uh, track. Let's go to... I do know Lidden Hill. Let's do Lidden Hill. Lidden Hill should be a good time. We're going to change the time of day. Save that one. Let's go try a rally car. Yeah, Husky, they have uh, rally cross cars in um, in Project Cars 2 this year. So, I'm very excited to try this. It'll be cool. It'll be really cool. But I'm liking it so far, man. I'm really liking it. It looks, uh, it looks pretty good. Sounds are disappointing. I, 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 it was just that one car. The BMW, that, that was a little disappointing. I don't know what was going on with that. Like this, the Chevy Camaro Z28 and some others, they sound absolutely awesome. So, I don't know what that was about. There's a wall. <laughs> there went that whole thing. We're going to start that over again. Jesus Christ. Are there GT cars here? Um, I think because we have multi-class on still, that's why. <laughs> oh my god, this is tough. This is gonna be a tough one. Resettings. So basically, I, the thing I can tell you this is that um there we go, five that looks good. Uh is that the car this game is, it feels nothing like Project Cars 1 to me. The only thing that almost had the same kind of feel was the, uh, the, the Ford Fusion. Um, and Nürburgring drove a lot the same, uh, but I mean, it's just totally different. It's, it's hard to explain. It's, it takes a lot more refinement. Like I'm so used to just going balls to walls on certain cars and you just can't do that in this game. Take the Joker. Oh, actually, I don't think it matters in this mode. Yeah, it doesn't. Okay, well, that was really stupid of me. <laughs> I'm so used to playing Dirt Rally. <laughs>
I need to e-brake really bad in this car. crash Jesus you have to really slow this thing down I just can't get this thing to turn without an e-brake on certain parts, of course. Can't get this thing on the road. Oh, we are dead. Literally just dead. That didn't take long. Those are really hard to drive. There was the crash. Here's the crash. Oh, something glitched out big time there. Yeah, something really glitched out there. All right, let's go drive the truck. Find a fun place to drive that on. Do 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 do. Let's see here. Go Mojave. Do the sidewinder. We'll do it in the Ford F-150 Raptor. Oh, they have the Monster Energy. That's cool. Let's do that. 
That works for me. And start. Let's see how this thing is. What happened there was it looked like it glitched out, so the sound cone wasn't working at all. There was no Doppler at all. Like, something was definitely glitched out after we saw what happened there. I think that's why the sound was screwed up in that car. Let's go try this. Oh, bitch. I'm just going to hold it there in neutral this time. Okay, well, I'm doing real good here. God, these things drive so strange. I mean, it is a truck, so <laughs> it's driving nothing like a car. That makes sense. They oversteer like you wouldn't believe. Should have slowed down more. So what's nice about the force feedback is that the trucks, man, they the uh, the wheel feels so much heavier. So that's that's kind of a good thing, you know. Feels like a truck sh probably should. Slow. These things aren't that slow. Look at the speed we're carrying in a pickup truck on a track like this. I mean, granted, we're not going as fast as a rally car, but I mean, look at this. We're doing 104 miles an hour right there. That's pretty fast. this corner a little bit differently this time. down for this turn. Okay, 
great stuff. You've just posted the fastest first sector time. Not anymore. I just drove off the damn course. things now they're just totally different than anything we've been driving Save that. Jeez Louise. Saving an F 150? Not easy. <laughs> Figuring out the trucks finally. They just they're they're a total different beast, man. He just plowed into us there. Yeah, so... Oh, my God. Racing F-150 is not the... Not the smartest thing. We tore it up good. That's just too much. We were doing so good, and then we just throw it all away. That's usually how it goes around here. Let's uh, rewind that, actually. No. Can you go before that? Guess not. Not while you're out here doing this. This is where I made the pass on this guy, though, so this will be cool to watch.
Here's where we get hit. Boom! <laughs> Destroyed our back end there. And we got hit again right there. <laughs> oh, man. That's when it happened. Alrighty. People are saying... What's that? Uh, everyone on my team speak is saying Project Cars 2 is eh. <laughs> People are so fucking ridiculous. I don't know, man. Everybody anymore, just nothing Im impresses anybody. Any any game that comes out, it's never impressive. People always go, it's, it's not that great. Project Cars 2 is fucking awesome, period. Uh, I absolutely love it. it. It's way better than Project Cars 1. Uh, it, there's so many new things that I really, really, really like. Uh, some of the sounds on the cars are a little weird. They have some uh, clear issues with uh, like disengaging the sound. And again, it's like making this chopping noise. Uh, but a lot of the other cars that we've driven today, I had no issues with. So I don't know, man. People are just way too, and eh, this is not a good game. Well, then don't fucking buy it. Let, let people that enjoy it have fun with it. Uh, ooh, a Ferrari. Gotta drive a Ferrari. Ooh, they have the F50 GT. I like it. I like it a lot. I'm very, very impressed with it. Um, I can't wait to drive it in VR. That's going to be absolutely awesome. Let's go to... Let's take this thing around Bathurst. Because why not? Time progression. Season, summer, weather slots, one. Let's just do a beautiful sunny day. That works for me. Opponents. I don't want any opponents. I just want to be out there by myself. There we go. Yeah, I, I don't know what, why people just, uh, they, they, it's always something. But yeah, no, I absolutely uh, have been enjoying it way more than I thought I would. I started getting pretty, started to get pretty hyped. Um, and honestly, the very first thing I did was drive this, the Camaro Z28, the 69 Camaro at uh, Road America. And that sold it for me. I was like, this is amazing. Absolutely. This force feedback is, is fantastic. I love it. Can't complain. Ferrari F50. What? There's nothing to be... What are you talking about? Drive through penalty. <laughs> that sounds good. I knew I was going to do that. That was bound to happen. This is so fast. <laughs> I 
let's restart this. I was doing okay, and then I was just pushing it and pushing it and pushing it. Oh, man. Just burnt tires all the way down there. That was nuts. All right, we can do okay here. Okay, don't downshift the first gear there. First gear just back spins the wheels so quickly. game makes me want to get a, uh, a belt driven wheel, I'll tell you that. Absolute delight to drive this car. Strong button. That's why we do this in a simulator because that would be one expensive crash. Not even kidding.
And that was all she wrote on that. <laughs> oh man, that was that was really cool. All right, let's uh let's hop into the career mode and let's see what this is all about. Sh shall we? We already did some rainstorms and stuff like that earlier in the stream, so I'm, I'm going to go check out the career mode before we are done. Man, I'm freaking deaf after that. They need some... Some of those sounds are just way too freaking... Your career begins here. Loud. Enter your driver's details, including name, initials, and nationality. All right, first name first. <laughs> what? No, I, I didn't do anything. Why did you do that to me, you dummy? No, go back. Thank you. Let me finish this. I was like, what the hell are they doing? Uh, initials. I'm going to keep. I like the FAV, the FOV. That's cool. Uh, United States. Create. Every motorsport hero needs to start somewhere. Where mm -hmm. will you begin? This is where you'll need to decide whether you want to begin at the very bottom in carts and race your way up through the tiers to the very pinnacle of motorsports in tier one. Or simply jump straight into your favorite motorsport and begin from there. Hey, Dad. All right. So either... Formula Rookie, let's see, Lights, Pro C's, MP, MP3. So this is the way to move your way up through. Okay. These are the different paths. I see. IndyCar. Uh, you can move down that way. Super turn. Kind of like go the the uh, the GT route, the GT five route. I think we're gonna do that. Lamborghini Super Trofeo. I don't. Okay, I guess you start off with this. Go karts, guy cuts. Now that you've chosen your motorsport, it's time to decide which series you'll start your career in. The series structure varies according to which motorsport you chose. Some offer multiple starting points, others have a single one, mm -hmm. while others will offer just a single series by itself. Okay. That sounds good to me. Now that you've chosen your car, it's time to choose your livery. The livery you choose will also determine which team you'll be racing for. Okay. Ooh, I like that color. That's pretty cool. I like this orange, though. The orange and black. Oh, yeah. That's the one I want. The final step to launching your motorsport career is this, your first contract. If you're happy with your selections, go ahead and sign. Once you do that... Your ultimate driver journey is all set to begin. Okay. Sign a contract for our career. Let's go, go Carton. The career dashboard is the main hub for managing your career. Under the home tab is everything related to the current course series you're participating in. Here, you'll be able to head onto the track for each round, view the event calendar, check emails from your team and others, view your series standings, and read news headlines from your prior races. Okay. You see the calendar here? Dubai cart drone. The next round. No, e you have new messages from email. Welcome aboard. Como course. Blah, 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 blah. We race engineer for the season. Last year was a tough one for us, but our new cart is looking strong when with you in the seat. These are definitely up the up. All right, man. Well, let's hope we can do okay. We can do manufacturer drives. Your affinity with specific manufacturers by driving their cars in your career will allow you to unlock manufacturer drives. Interesting. Invitational events are awarded to you throughout your career progress. There are invitational events for various motorsport disciplines, and they can be participated in and replayed anytime, as many times as you want. 
Okay, progress and setting. Here you can view your career's progress. You can also see which trophies and accolades you've won, as well as what you have left to accomplish. This is also where you can set the difficulty levels for your opponents in your races. Okay, good to know. Career settings. We're going to put them on 70. Uh, aggression, low. I don't want them going crazy. Lowry starts on. Save it. That looks good. Accolades. Don't worry about that. Current series. Blah, 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 blah. Back to the home screen. Let's go do our this first race. This is the race. final review of the round you're about to enter. Here you can configure which sessions you want to participate in as well as their length. Once you're ready, hit start and get out onto the track. All right. Hit start. We'll go out on the track. We're just going to do a couple of these little career deals in the go-karts. And then uh, I want to jump online and see what online racing is like. I do, I do, I do. Finally arrived, your very first career race. Before the race starts, take a moment to make any final adjustments to your vehicle setup, change tires, and finalize any pit strategies. When you're ready, and I think uh, Alex, breath, if you want to join me when we go online, we can do that. The moment has finally arrived. You're very, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, start. Let's do it. Okay, it's your first career race. Let's get it off to a good start. You got it. Severe damage already. I don't know the track at all. I don't know what I'm doing at all. Are these shifter carts? No, they're not. Okay. They're just one gear. Oh, dude. Just broke my stuff. Don't know how we get a river mirror either. Oh, you can't. I guess it doesn't look. Let's let's restart this session. My God, had insta damage. I couldn't even drive it anymore. Let's try it again. I'll be a little more patient. Ooh, there's dirt there. There's dirt there. There's severe damage immediately. God. You can't touch another cart with these things, man. I gave up position nine. What what is happening here? Oh I think I'm passing before the line. You can't do that. Let's try that again. Or something else happened. I don't know what it was, but man, these guys are slow starting out. Some of these guys are slow as hell. Oh, there's a turn there. I'm doing better this time, at least. I just didn't know the course at all. Jesus, man. Those curbs, they kill you.
That turn gets me every time. Some tight turns here. These things just spin around on you so fast. This would be pretty cool on uh, in VR. I can tell you that you can look around. some big lag drops. I don't know what's going on with that. Great job. That's the fastest final sector of anybody so far. Well, that means we need to just keep this, this up. This pace we're we're at right now is pretty decent. This gotta get better. I cannot figure that part out at all. Bloodshot Gaming, thank you for that subscription, man. I appreciate that, dude. Welcome to the stream, family. Fastest first that you've done so far. Great job. Well, we're trying to learn this track, so our team will be proud of us. It's not going so well. Feel like true racer go carting it up and we'll bring it home p10 Whew. that was the best we could do there man that was that was not easy Results, and this is where you can see how you did. All drivers are listed in order of their finishing positions. Along with that, you can see the points that each driver scored, as well as various other bits of info related to each driver and their race. Okay. If the series assigns team points, you'll also see how the team scored here too. Got it. Well, very cool. We had a fastest lap, one o five five three four. We weren't on the podium, but hey. We did what we could do. We did what we could do. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Oh, my dad's still here. I want to show him uh, the Camaro. God, that thing is so much fun to drive. So much fun to drive. Mm -hmm. Probably go to the next one. The next cart championship. Round two of four. And it's at the Glencairn East. I think I remember that a little bit. All right. Yeah. Now I want to show you the, uh, 
show you this Camaro. This Camaro is unbelievable. This thing right here. Let's let's do a nice bright yellow one. And let's take it to California Highway because this thing is that's a fun track to drive on. It's just a normal thing, but oh, yes, it's awesome. It is absolutely awesome. Oh my God. Well, John B. Marine, if you're a Camaro man, you're going to absolutely love this car. <laughs> a 69 Camaro. I mean, you can't ask for anything more than this. I'll turn off the uh, overlays. Okay, let's try that again. <laughs> uh, going downhill in the gas like that? Bad idea, turns out. You gotta go a lot slower on these corners than you would think. Boy, this is a tough track for this thing. God, you just want to open it up completely. We hit air there. That was so much fucking air. I'm not doing a DOJ stream. I cannot I'll tell you what, one thing I can't do in this game is haven't figured out how to drift a damn car in this game yet.
this thing doesn't turn for its life. It just goes around. There's like no break by it. What is going on with that? Every time you get in a crash, it like it kills your frame rates. So it like lags out. That's very strange acting. It's like when you get in the brakes, man, you're just going around because it has no ABS. Clearly. get on the highway now let's see how fast this baby goes only has three gears See if we can hit some air here. Nope. Yep. <laughs> that was awesome. Horrible crash, but what is with the physics? 
It can't, it, like, it can't do it. It just cannot do it. Let's watch this replay. It just completely shits the bed when you roll or crash. And that's a shame. Here comes the big jump. We're getting ready to, to hit the big jump. <laughs> and here's the crash and it just all fucks up. See? It just, it, it's like the game can't handle it. I, I don't know what that's about. I've never seen anything like that before. That is strange, but that, that car is really cool. Yeah. One thing I, it's so strange to me is the, uh, yeah, there's no, it seems like there's no Doppler effect at all. Like it's, it's a constant sound. I mean, you hear it go by the camera, but it's a constant sound when it does that, you know, that's a little strange. What else have we got here? Let's just look and see what else we have. Drive some interesting ones. One thing I do want to drive is a McLaren. So what is it called? The S 20 S or something like that. Yep. S 20 S there it is right there. I want it in. Ooh, that looks amazing. Yep. That one. Let's take it to, let's take it to Watkins Glen. Always love the Watkins Glen. We'll do Watkins Glen. Uh, yeah, we'll do the GP circuit. Why not? Let's do it in the evening time. You could do a thunderstorm. That's pretty sweet. Um, I want to do medium clouds. That looks good. That looks pretty realistic. What are all these? Oh, fogs. I see. Let's do that. That looks good to me. Save that. Let's go drive it. The S20S at Watkins Glen GP. I think that'll be pretty sweet. Yeah, there's a lot of uh, options with weather and stuff like that. A few things that are rough around the edges. I mean, the sound is like the Doppler effect. I hope they fix that. That's uh, that's something that needs to be fixed. Ho oh, ho ho! Look at this baby. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Uh, jump start. Jump start. Well, I didn't know you were racing me. Shut your fucking face. Shut your face. Okay, we'll wait for him now.
This thing is a beast. I thought we could go through the... On the GP course, you could go through the center. I guess not. They have the bus stop. Good to know. Slayer, thank you for that subscription, man. Okay, I'm trying to drive it like a GT car. It's not a GT car. <laughs> Gotta remember, it's a uh, little bit way less forgiving than a race car. Same thing with that turn, man. Shit. to do the helmet cam. Never mind. Whew. The best way to explain it's this is very, very sim. Meaning that you can't you can't get away with the stuff that you used to be able to in the previous project cars. There's a lot of car here, man. A lot of car here. Sorry, I was reading the uh, chat. Swift Shot 100, thank you, man. Have a good night. Glad you like the streams, man.
This thing's saying this sounds so good. That little spoiler that pops up, that is incredible stuff, man. Stops on a dime, too. Got to give it to him on that one. Definitely have to give it to him on that one. We'll watch a replay on this one. Adam Luna, thank you for those. Appreciate that, dude. See, this car has proper Doppler. Listen. So certain cars don't have them. The sound's done for Doppler yet. That's a good looking car, man. That thing is awesome. Wheels of Steel 92, thank you, sir. How you doing tonight? I'm Sable, I, dude, I love, I like the force feedback a lot on the G27. It, I, I, Forza 7, it was so bad that I was like, man, Maybe I need a new wheel. And then <laughs> Project Cars 2, like, this is how force feedback should be. Like, it, the, the car is definitely manageable. You can catch it. I mean, slides. Uh, when it starts to oversteer, you can, it, it snaps in your hand. You can feel the, the, the edge. It's really well done. You'll see why I slam the brakes at the very end. I want to get those rotors nice and warm so you can see them light up. Here we go. Oh, it was a different different view but man that thing stops on a dime like wow not bad at all well before we get out of here for the night guys let me uh let me know what uh, what car you want to see here we'll, we'll we'll do another uh another suggestion another suggestion for a car and a track the one that uh, i see the most of we will drive I haven't driven any Lamborghinis. Jags. Oh, look at that XJR9. Good God, that's a cool thing. That is cool. I don't know what a Venino is, and I don't think it... I don't know who makes it. It's Volkswagen. Walking stock. We just did Watkins. I did the Raptor. Mazda Red Bull. I've heard about that thing. The crazy, crazy, crazy Mazda Red Bull car. Yeah, the Rad Bull. That's a good idea. We have not driven this thing. This thing looks ridiculous. Daytona. Everybody wants me to go to Daytona. Okay, we'll go to Daytona. We'll go to the... Um, well, I mean, I've seen the, the stock car racing at Daytona, and it looks... It's pretty bad. Uh, let's do the Red Bull and then we'll do the Daytona 
and, and well, we're bo we're both going to go to Daytona here, but we're going to use the. Uh, da, 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 da. We will use the road course for the Rad Bull, and then after that, we will use the um. Then, then we will go to, to try out the uh, actual stock cars in the oval. And then we'll call it a night. How about that? Yeah, Rad Bull's going to be nuts. This is all Jim Connor style. Can't quit. Go. What is he doing back there? He's an idiot. All right. This is going to be ridiculous. Oh, look at this. Rolling start. Okay. <laughs> this thing is insane. Okay, I can't even drive it out of the grass. Look at this. Oh, that sounded good. Here, let's just drive this thing out of the grass here. Yeah, good luck with this thing. My God. Came here for drifting, you're not gonna see it, I'll tell you that much. I cannot drift on a fucking G27 for my life or on a wheel, period. Oh my god. Yeah, it's 1200 horsepower. It's insane, is what it is. How you drive this thing, I'll tell you that. And we just lost it. Oh my god. Off in the dirt. Oh, that's where we were just stuck in the dirt forever. Let's try again. This is so hard to drive. Yeah, I don't have any e brake at all. Um I mean, oh, paddle shifters. Yeah, that's true. Nope, he uses a uh, stick shift. Be so easy on the throttle. Is that I can drift in games on a controller, but on a wheel, it's so foreign. See, 
See, it gets to that point where it gets too far and then it whips over. What is it doing? It's acting weird. There we go. cones there. Yeah, no. Yeah, no. Not for me. <laughs> so pitiful, I know. That is very difficult to drive. <laughs> That's a cool camera view. <laughs> that backfire. was that uh, now we want to do the stock cars at Daytona Oval oh my god that was yeah that was nuts absolutely crazy oh. yeah, that one let's do it at night too Oh yeah, opponents. 31 of them. Make sure they don't get us killed here. Set them to 80. I haven't figured out how to do uh, double file starts and I don't think you can. I don't know. We'll see. Theta60, thank you for that subscription, man. I appreciate that, dude. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I, I don't care about the viewer counts, man. <laughs> We're just here hanging out, playing uh, Project Cars. Hit start. And let's see what happens here. Let's see what happens here. Any of the AI will run with setup. So sweet. Well, hopefully it'll be a little bit better, though. It will indeed. Yeah, those codes went flying on the backstretch. Dumb knock. It was like nuts, man. 
Crazy, crazy. Yeah, Forrest, so that f the backfire did sound like a gun. It's like, boom! All right, here we go. Start it up. Yeah, I don't think they do. Do they do side by side restarts in this game? They really, really slam the brakes. Yeah, I don't like the formation laps. Dude, fucking go. Rexergy. Yeah, there's no Toyotas or uh, Chevys. Jesus, AI. Come on now. Zoom. What are you fucking doing running into each other back here? A bunch of idiots. This is the old Daytona. It's bumpy, bumpy. All right, get ready to go green here. Everybody spread out like crazy. They're not designed to do this. <laughs> There's no draft here. Car is super loose, too. They don't stay in line at all. Things are so loose. And they told me that would get you killed. There's nothing to push. And we just drive away from them. Yeah, there is no no draft racing with that guy. Maybe this dude down here. AJ Almendinger. <laughs> Jesus, dude. Somebody killed. They race you. They won't. They try to pass you. They won't uh, get in line. Now, this is the old Ford Fusion. This is before they had the digital dash. Nice 
Why is his brake glowing? Yeah, you, look at that. You get no draft. Let's try something else here real fast. If we do uh, no formation lap with rolling start, maybe they'll be side by side. Let's see what that is. Uh, like, I'm thinking that might be it. Um, there we go. This might be a little bit better. Let's see if it is. Because that was ridiculous. Now, online might not be too bad. Hard to say. We shall see. We haven't, we haven't tried them in Texas either. I bet they might be fun at Texas. All right. Let's just go to start. Hey, double file restart. This might be better. Okay, so yeah, they don't, they don't bump draft. Can't do that. Ooh, okay. Cannot believe how loose these cars are. Oh, I would be dead if that were the case. It's like the uh, old days of stock car racing at Daytona, man. At least, the, at least they're the, a lot more together on this one. This is a lot better. A lot better. That formation lap just broke everything, it seems like. This is a lot better. Car is so loose. <laughs> it's scary. Hey, we have an actual draft though. Look at that. 180, 197 there. That's, that's, that's good. Oh, buddy. Sorry. Didn't think it was going to check up that much that he did. I'm not driving the Rad Bull again. Even without the draft, you're still doing 190 miles an hour. So it's it's pretty much like the old stock car racing days at Daytona.
full man it's like those old old school uh, stock car racing you would see where they're just like they had their hands full up these tracks that guy's brakes are like glowing the entire time in the three car there no more contact with the three you're in a good position to take him don't take him when you're in Try squeezing hard when you can. Oh, big crash behind us. I hit the wall. I, w I was not clear of that dude came right up into him there. That was my fault. Let's have a look and see what happened there. Oh man, huge crash behind us. Oh man, that was the big one. Right, let's see if we can rewind it a little bit here. I wanna, man, this thing is getting some real hits here. Uh, can we go back? Oh, you can, sweet. Let's go back in the field and see what happened here. There's the crash happening right in front of them. Cute, nowhere to go. The big one happens at Daytona. Absolute wreck back there. Junk, junk, junk. Let's go back a little bit further here. A lot of cars damaged in that wreck. Let's watch the number nine here of Julian Ojin. Nowhere to go. Cars just crashing everywhere. Horrible crash for them. Let's see what the what's what uh, some of them saw here. Let's go to like this guy. He's missing that whole part of his car there. All right, so he was in the middle of all of it. Um, actually, he was yeah, he was way in it. Let's watch uh, on board here with this guy uh, in the cockpit. See what they saw. That wasn't too bad for him. Let's back it up again. Who else was there? There's somebody else that we wanted, like that was really, really involved. I think it was these guys back here. Oh, he got right through it. Damn. Yeah, he got, he got through it. No problem. I know there's a roof camera. Let's do this. Oh, we got to ride along with that 74. That 74 car for sure. Uh, where's he at? This one right here. Oh, 
Oh my god. Big junk at Daytona. Absolutely done there. Whoo-wee! That was crazy stuff, man. Well, guys, that is going to do it for us tonight. Thanks for tuning in. What a hell of a stream. First look at Project Cars 2. I like it a lot. What do you think? Let me know. Take care.